Hello everyone, welcome back to the Catholic Gamer Do Plays FTL. We are in another NG controlled system. So let's see, let's just keep on moving. What is the best way to go? I feel like the best way to go is here, 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 here. And we'll probably have to cut that short. But I feel like this is the best way to go and explore the most information, especially this node, early on. That should give us plenty of information. So let's go. All right. The complex arrangements of ship hulls and FTL drive capacitors, something, something, but this is an empty sector. So, move on. Oh dear. I could have swore we bought fuel at the last one, but all right. Uh, combat drone mark one. Sweet. Store. We kind of have to go to the store at this point. Let's buy some fuel. That was really lucky. Not sure how I screwed that up from the last sector. All right, we, we basically bought them out of fuel. Repair arm, cloaking, ah, oh, forgot it was that expensive, alas, we'll have to see if we can get it further down the line. Long range scanners, adds additional info about nearby beacons on the star map, repair arm, mm, repairs your hull every time you collect scrap, but reduces scrap collected by 15%. I'm not crazy about that. Oh, oh well, I guess I bought the long range scanners. Uh, unvisited sh unvisited system possible ship detected all right moving on let's see here except their bribe because pirate in a hard pursuit an identified ship you quickly receive a transmission from the pirate stay out of this and fight and we'll make it worth your while try to be a hero attack the pirate pirate ship starts with pursuit and locks weapons under your ship that's okay wow that is surprisingly well armed Uh, and I timed that wrong. This is gonna be bad, most likely. Still, we do have two levels of shields. And they missed. Alright. That worked out. Um, we're still taking a little while to punch through their shields, though. So, I think one more missile should do it. Uh, except they're more generous, bribe, and leave. Six fuel? That's not bad. 22 scrap. Yeah, let's do that. Go through a distress beacon here, and then hit up another store just to see what they have. Long range scanners. Run another scan. You arrive in a smoldering injury research station. It's a distress call and answer. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. Maybe someone left alive. Or else they think of value left on board. Long range scanners. Let's see. Scans reveal the station's reactor is overloading. Not only that, but an injured NG and a functioning drone schematic are still on the board. Not, there's not time for bolts. Save the NG. That's the Catholic way to do it, right? Life over schematics. Your away team heads straight to the NG and returns in time with spare. You put some distance on the station before it blows, and the NG is so impressed by your crew that they volunteer to join you. Oh, you poor, poor soul. What a mistake. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. The NG have some kind of like special... Let's see, uh, da, 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 da. I want to experiment with something real quick. I think if you power down, oops, oh, okay, it's gonna work. let's put him in the engine, yeah, okay, that's what I wanted in the first place. I'm trying to see something, I think, uh, no, partially, interesting, partially powered, and man evasion fully powered. Add power. Add, and da, 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 da. I was trying to see if the NG have any special uh, status when manning. I seem to recall that the NG are able to do something on the. What's the word? On the. Uh, wow, my brain refuses to work. But you could get an extra power module so that instead of using you know power from your reactor, you get power from the NG. But I guess they either remove that or I'm misremembering what that was. So let's move on to let's it up. Yeah, actually, we can go here. No, I think we have to hit the store now. All right. Alas. Hit up the store. Cloaking 150. Burst laser 2. 80. Hull laser 75. Powerful. Smasher fires more projectiles per shot. Let's see. Hull weapons deal double damage if they hit a room that does not have a, subs a system or a subsystem. Required power 3. Burst laser. 
Slightly improved version of the burst laser that fires more shots. Shots per charge three. This is basically the same weapon that we have up until this point. That is tempting. Ooh, that is tempting. The hull laser requires three power. Charge time. However, we do have the pre-igniter. Required power three, normal damage one, but it fires three shots. So, and it does twice the amount of damage on systemless rooms. So if we can get this in addition, we can power up the... So, is it, so basically it works like a hull laser, unless we fire it into a room that doesn't have any systems, in which case it just, it does twice the amount of damage. Which could work in conjunction with everything else. You know what, I think I will buy this, even though we don't have the power for it, because later on, we'll want, we'll want it. I hope that's the right decision. I had never really liked buying weapons that I can't really use, like, in the foreseeable future, but I feel like that's going to be the most bang for our buck. Let's go find ourselves a ship. Let's see, attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. Oh boy. That is pretty well armed. Fortunately, I think we can take their weapons offline pretty quickly, but we're going to sustain an initial volley. That's going to hurt. Burst laser on the weapons. Okay. Woo! That was close. Take down their teleportation. Uh, teleportation. Cloaking device. And we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Okay, we did. All right. We won't even need to find our missile on this one. Oh. Did not account for that. All right, though. This should take it out, though. Oh, dang it. You know what? I don't. I don't want to take any more damage. We took their, we took their, the rest of their weapon systems offline. That should be good enough. All right. Good show. Investigate the station. The station is storage site. Very, very, various resources. Three fuel, four missiles, nineteen scrap. That worked out really well. And I think. Uh, it's a tough choice. We only have 56 scrap, though. I think our time would be better spent... 11, 10, 9... 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's still a pretty decent amount, and we can cut it short if things go wrong. Let's go here. Alright. Sell 5 missiles for 15 scrap. Oh, these are pretty bad deals. Nope. Moving on. That was a quick trip. It's nice when you can just say, nope, explain that you're friendly. Subject goal, wealth, NG motivation, survival, transfer goods, acceptable, explain that you're friendly, they seem relieved, and leave. So in that one case, you can actually threaten them. Oh, I probably should repair that. In that case, you can threaten that ship, and I think they give you rewards or something like that, which is pretty interesting. Ship. One. Yeah, we need at least three bars, and then another 75. We're looking at like 150 to upgrade. You know, which sounds like a lot, but doesn't really... It's it's kind of... Um, what's the word? It really doesn't matter, in a way, because you kind of need all of that power anyway towards the end of the game. Let's go here. All right. Apologize, wish them luck, and continue on. That's another donation mission. Jump. Can I get there from here? No, I cannot. Oh. You know what? I think it's time just to move on. We moved along pretty well. There weren't too many encounters in that one. You arrived at Long Range Beacon, blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's see. Hire a crew member, Weston. Look for potential. Hire a crew member. And he is. Nah. Let's not hire anyone. This is kind of short. Jump beacon. Let's see. But we basically maxed out our time here. Go to a... Uh, you can either go to a rock-controlled or a slug-controlled nebula. Fascinating. 
I've been to a slug. The rock ships are awful. I hate them. Might be better just to take our chances in the nebula. Rock controlled ships, they have this built in resistance that can absorb some of your shots. It's really irritating. Um. But I also hate nebulas. Alright, you know what? Let's go hit up a slug nebula. So, thank you very much for joining me. This has been that Catholic Gamer Dude playing FTL, and I will see you next time.